addresses you, David. You can make me a poor man throughout my life. How? You take me to court, civil libel. I fear civil libel more than criminal libel. But it costs me money to take you to court, doesn't it? That's the risk you have to take. You see, if you have a genuine case, that is why civil, civil libel is very good. But why must I? Why must you, why must you, you, you write things that are untrue about me and, and, and say to me, well, you have a chance to redeem yourself by going to court. The whole process of going to court, I don't want to go to court. It's long, it's boring, it's a waste of time. Would that kill you, David? Because doctors make mistakes and people die. Have you ever heard of anybody being taken to court because the doctor made a mistake? Doctors make mistakes and people die. Generally, we are human beings who make mistakes. You have a chance to make sure that you punish me for my mistakes. That's the difference. Tell me, Mr. Benefson, um, very often I hear uh, a lot of media people uh, use the term our sources. We will not disclose our sources and so on. What are these sources? And, and do you focus on whether they are credible or not? You see, it's with time that you have to develop sources. What do you mean? People that come and tell you things about other people. That's what you call sources. No. What you are see, sources? I'll give you an example. About a month ago, I was there when a young Thai driver came to me. And briefly, he was hired by armed robbers. He went to tell the police. They grabbed him at the appropriate time. And the police let the armed robbers off because they didn't see them with guns at 2 a.m. They saw them with house-breaking implements. Now, the guy gives, gave me the story. This is a direct source. Instead of doing the story, I report to the police authorities. And those bad nuts are put away. Now, if you tell me something over But what time, is that? What are you? What, what, so what role have you played there? You are a publisher of a newspaper. What yes. are you doing? You see, by publishing that story, I brand the police, everybody, as a bad police force. So that's why you opted to? I opted to get those four or five policemen out of the service. What other sources do you have? You're giving me one type of source, yeah. direct source. Yes. Which are the indirect sources, if I may oh, ask? Oh, you see... One of the things I enjoy most is that I owe my allegiance to the people called Ghanaians and people of, and the country called Ghana. What does that mean? So if you are in power, you cease to be my friend. I don't hate you. If you're in power, cease to be my friend. So if people come and tell you that, look, Ben, David has got a big Adam's apple, or has got funny years. I've never met David before. I'll find out. And with time, we develop sources. And given this era of, especially during the past government, when people opted to go to court, for most things you write, you have the documents to back it up. And you say sources, we want to protect the person. Otherwise, nobody will come forward again. You must tell the person that, look, whatever you give, give me, I'll do a story to protect you. And there are certain stories that we keep for three, four months. Let's protect the sources. But is that fair, in a way? Doesn't that let people just come and push a note under your door? Somebody doesn't like David, I'm before the person writes a horrible thing about me, pushes it under your door. Mm -hmm. So how do you proceed from there? You check. How do you do this? I, I'm getting a sense of how you operate because there's a lot of things out there that people say are true and untrue. How do you, you see if I come to you me? that David, look, I've heard ABC, and you say no comment. It means that the story goes without your input. Period. Now, if I have maybe a couple of things which I'm sure, definitely, even before you clear, to give you water to drink, and I believe that. The refusal of somebody to talk doesn't mean that the end of your story. No stories will get that. You need to check and cross check. So you, 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 essentially you're talking about verifying. Yes. And the process of verifying involves... Oh, lots of talking. methods, lots of, you know... But some do it more than others, eh? I presume. I mean, there yes, are a lot yes. of journalists that don't do that. I mean, there's been that critique. They publish things when they haven't checked. Yes, you see, but you're doing the same thing in every profession. They're the bad nuts. Doesn't that worry you? That it, it drags the profession? You see, the noble profession? In time, the market will face these people out. You know, now, you know, one of the things I miss as President Rawlings is that, we, I mean, every three, four weeks, when there's no news on the market, he'll give you something for hard copy. <laughs> you will say something, you know, insult somebody, go off the tangent. Now, things, news is getting dry. But I believe that along the line, there's going to be fatigue. You know, if you buy a news, you see, first and foremost, People are poor. 
and it's going it's difficult for people to even survive so if i'm going to buy a newspaper that if i read something about david today it's not true i apologize after three four times oh i'm wasting my money and then the terrible habit of headlines that have nothing to do with the story yes so we what is that also no you see in, in the same way as you get every politician doing campaign for power they give you promises that when they come to time they find, they, they find it difficult. I mean, President Rawlings, 1996, he promised to pay the party of corrupt people. He never did it. President Kufo, before coming to power, he made a lot of promises that he's now struggling to keep up and making the promises. So, yes, people make headlines, and if you buy a paper based on a headline, you can fool for some people for some of the time, not all the time. Are you in need of credible and relevant business information? To make vital decisions or do you wish to reach Ghana's up market business and consumer segment with your product and services subscribe to and advertise in business and financial times today Africa's leading source of credible and relevant business information for inquiries contact 021-785-3667 or visit www.thebftonline.com Perfect mixes, perfect mixes, Gehok distilleries, perfect mixes. Available in all shops and bars nationwide, Gehok Distilleries, home of quality products. Some of the journalists have taken sides. Is that a good thing? It in is. a sense, they have taken sides. I like it. I prefer that if you take sides, let it be known. So that if I'm buying your paper, I'm listening to you on air, then I know where you're coming from. But is that journalism? Is that it? That's my question. As a key practitioner with yes. 26 years experience, yes. what to your mind is that? That is a kind of journalism. What kind of journalism? I mean, if, for example, you take Democrat or you take Statesman, once you are listening to the editorial review on the air, you are reading it, you know where they're coming from. You take Dispatch. It's pro-MPP or pro-MDC. That is it. And you take a paper, you think that this paper is middle of the road. Do you know what I read? But, 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 but these are not party papers. I mean, there are in the pa 